Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Scanlines node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve effect available within Fusion. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got a media in here and it's a TV and we've got a uh, green screen center TV. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and throw uh, this media in there as our TV background. And we want to add some scan lines, kind of like an old TV. And the way to do that is to use the scan lines node. But before we get there, we're going to go ahead and uh, key this out. So I'm going to add a uh, Delta key here. And on our Delta key here, I'm just going to uh, key out our green here. And it took some of this stuff out. So I'm just going to uh, add a little rectangle and uh, mask off our effect. So we're only getting that middle part of our TV. And, uh, let's bring this up, bring this in. And there we go. So now we're not messing with all this around. But if you notice that green is kind of showing in that smoke and over here. So easy way to fix that to get rid of this green spill is to uh, add a hue curves. And on our hue curves node, we can just uh, suppress our greens and go to our like greenish area and just start pulling those out. And that's good enough. So if I turn it on and off, you can see that green coming in and out. So let's go ahead and add a merge node. And we're going to bring our TV into our foreground and our media into the uh, background there. Let's look at our merge node and we need to resize our footage here. So let's go ahead and bring this down and let's fit our footage on our TV. So there we go. We've got our footage on our TV and uh, we're good to go. And yeah, I do notice this back one is moving a little bit. So if you wanted to, you could uh, track this TV and assign it to our little transform here. So our TV and our uh, footage is tracked together, but it's not moving much and I really don't care too much. <laughs> so uh, after our transform, we want to get some old school like scan lines going. So I'm going to hit shift space and look for the scan lines node and add it. And you can see exactly what our scan lines node is doing. It's adding these uh, old school scan lines. But if I play it, they're just stagnant, not moving. Before we get to our actual appearance here, we're going to jump down to our composite. And right here, we have the ability to output our scan lines only, or we can composite on top of our footage. And under our composite type, we have all the typical composite types. So I'm going to set this one on screen. Under our appearance, we have the ability to change our line frequency. We can change the line sharpness. And we can change the line angle. The line width. And we can change the line shift. And this right here is how you would add animation. But the problem with this node is you're limited. You can go from minus one to one. <laughs> so uh, it doesn't work very well. So if we look at our scans node, you can see we're uh, shifting it in that large area right there. So if we wanted to switch this after our media and transform both our scan nodes. If we go to our scan node, it'll give the appearance of it moving a little faster. But if you notice, we are still limited. And unfortunately, we can't type in minus 10 because it defaults to minus one. The same with going up. If I wanted it to go 10, it's not going to. It has a limit of one. So you really can't get much movement with this node. But we can go in the beginning, go to minus one, add a keyframe, go to the end, 
add a keyframe for one. So now we get a little movement, some extremely slow scan line movement going on. Under our color, this is where we can change the color. And right now we do have two colors assigned. Our black is in the middle and it's uh, alpha. So if I raise it, you can see we're changing that color. And if I change it to like a green, you can see we're adding that greenish color back in. So I can change this to a uh, greenish and I'm gonna go here to our white and I'm actually gonna change this down kind of a middle gray and I'll show you why here in a second. So now we've got our color and our scan lines and we can change them independently on the red, the green, and the blue. And we can also offset on the red, the green, and the blue. And this is how you get that color offset look that we have from old TVs. So I can take the red offset, change it. So it's down on the bottom a little bit. And I can take this green offset and change it to the top. So it kind of looks like some old school scan lines. So that is the scan lines node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.